Hi, and welcome to episode three of Tiny Tours on our Native American exhibit. This exhibit celebrates the culture and traditions of the people who lived here on the Oregon coast for thousands of years. And we feature some of their items that have both function and beauty. This includes a wonderful display of baskets with different styles, designs, and uses. One of the most amazing items in our collection is a basket made by Sissy Johnson. Sissy and her husband Jakey were allotment holders in the area that would later become known as Taft, where the museum is located today. We also feature baskets in different stages of completion made by Bud Lane, basket maker for the Sluts tribe. The purses, bags, and moccasins that we have on display showcase incredibly detailed and beautiful beadwork. We have many info panels on the wall detailing a way of life for the Native American people here on the Oregon coast. The exhibit then goes into detail on the events leading up to and following the Native people being forced from their lands and the establishment of the coast reservation. But the story does not end there. Thanks to a grant from the Siletz Tribal Charitable Contribution Fund, we now play a video, Skookum Tillicum, which details their triumph over oppression, benefits to tribal members, and their charitable efforts through offering community grants. Here at the museum, we are proud to have Siletz Tribal Honored Elder Cynthia Farlow as the president of our board of directors. She is shown here holding a photo of some of her Siletz family. Cynthia creates beautiful traditional Native American jewelry, some of which can be found in our gift shop and at special events to benefit the museum. If you haven't already, Check out our virtual exhibit, Every Artifact Has a Story, that features several Native American artifacts. Head to our website and click on the logo that you see on the screen now. Thank you for watching this episode of Tiny Tours, and look for our next episode coming soon.